Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon! Last time, we began our exploration of the Haunted Towers and discovered a new variety of ghosts! Seems like every time we're in this bunker lately, we go to a whole new region of Evershade Valley! Which is a pattern that I am bringing up only to immediately ignore because there is no other new places for us to explore. That's because this time we're headed back to the Haunted Towers in the Pinwheel Gate, hopefully to find out what is behind said gate around the base of the mansion. Let's get started. Luigi, want to hear the news about the Dark Moon piece? Well, the Periscope was having a heck of a time trying to pinpoint its location. But then it hit me! I can analyze the Dark Moon pieces we already have to improve the precision. Naturally, I was right, and after a little tinkering, the periscope produced better results. Remember that gigantic tree? The dark moon piece seems to be somewhere up there. So we know roughly where it is, but the hard part is getting there. Oh yes, such a hard time getting to that tree that is right behind the central plaza, yes! You'll need to cross the newly raised bridge and explore the interior of the hollow tree to find a way up. Got all that? Off you go! And we all know that doing what we've been asked is going to be super easy because our objective is right in front of us, just behind that gate, and these haunted towers ghosts, as we have seen, are a lot more civilized than those gloomy manor ghosts. They do not spit in our face five times before giving us a key, no. They either run away from us and don't cause any more trouble, let us fight them straight on and give us the key immediately, or they try to beat us over the head with a shovel, but two out of three ain't bad. It's Luigi's lot in life, really. Hooray for alliteration. So we can take that cursed bucket that gave us so much trouble to start off and repurpose it to water these plants. By doing so, we can make them bloom, giving them water and light, and get rewarded for our troubles. Ah, I see the symbolism that you have put into this piece of artwork. The fact that you are telling us that there are rewards to be reaped by caring for the environment and quite literally going green. I'm just like every English teacher shoehorning in symbolism into books that totally originally didn't have that intention. <laughs> so, in the courtyard, we can now get rid of that, and now that the water's back on, this is now flowing and we could fill up that bucket with water and water the plants in here too, but I don't want to do that. Instead, I want to show you something kind of fun. Uh, something kind of fun. I said... It's a little bit touchy there, but yeah, I like that detail a lot. He'll just act like he's in the shower and whistle and do all kinds of stuff like that if you can get him under any sort of source of running water. It's just kind of a neat little thing. So we're gonna do that. We're going to water yet another one of these plants carrying on the theming from Act 1. No, I'm just, I'm not gonna do that anymore. You can also get rid of this dirt, which, uh, this plant looks a little bit different from the others, wouldn't you say? No? Well, it does now. Yeah, this is one of those spiky fruit plants that we saw earlier. There is a bit of a thing missing in the equation, though. That floor panel has been made invisible since we were last here. Get the spiky fruit. Now we can attack the cheap imitation monster there. But instead, it is now a greenie. We pop that, and we have a new enemy. Are you ready for this uncreative enemy name? I'll give you a guess what its name is. You probably won't get it right. No, it is not a goldie. It is a... Gold Greeny. Yeah, there is nothing green on its body. Like, why didn't you just call it a Goldie? That would have at least been a somewhat clever enemy name. You can see why I think these enemies were named by five-year-olds when that's the case. Oh my gosh. So let's get you... I, I guess I don't really need the three coins. I don't need to be super diligent about anything. I'll just get the cash. Give me all you. And it'll make you bloom with a source of light that is very short-lived, meaning that you will probably die from expending all of your energy, but what does it matter? I've gotten my money, haven't I? We've been dawdling way too long. We'll just go to the pinwheel gate with all of our cash in hand. Aww. Aww. Hmm. 
Boy, I bet I should have used the this thing to stop them before they got away. <laughs> yeah, for whatever reason, he doesn't do that. Criminy! Not again! That pinwheel gate won't open without its veins! Did you see where the skinny ghost went? Never mind, I'll use the periscope to find them! Hold on a sec... Got him! Check your map! You have no faith in us to see which even w which way they even went. Not that we give you much reason to have that much faith in us, seriously! Like, they had 15 health! You've taken out so many of them at this point, Luigi, you shouldn't even be scared anymore. But now! We can explore the Eastern Tower, a place that we didn't really go in much before. And we can use that panel to get in this way. The three ghosts are in here. Also get a lot of money from this painting. I'll, uh, I'll check a few things. Yeah, I had a feeling I'd be getting my golden bone right about there. Just wanted to pick it up so it was out of the way. I don't believe there's anything from sucking in that spider web. Let's just take care of the elephant in the room and get this invisible, not invisible door taken care of. There was every indication in the world that we were going to find it there. Now we have found the Gardener's Dwelling. For the house of a guy that just likes flowers, it sure is scary sounding. They got to do that. That hider! He's popped out and he's gone through the floor! So what is it that we do about that? Well, uh, we do the sensible thing and we rotate this fan around to move the bed. Then we stand on this panel, which reacts to our weight, but that's not enough. We take this bucket and stand on it with the bucket to activate an elevator under the bed. I knew gardeners were kind of lonely, but geez. <laughs> okay. No, uh, it's not my place to judge whatever it was the gardener was doing down here back when he still lived in this place. Got a shade, or a, not shades, but a sunglasses greenie. We can take care of you. Uh. Where'd you go? There you are. I want to stay away from that plant. I don't want to get near him. Thank you very much. Or I should say thank you very much once again. Shades, get you. And that should just about do it in here, kind of. Yeah, we have all these papers that we can suck up. It looks really cool and doesn't really do much of anything for us. But if we check this panel, Egad feels the need to tell us what it is. Yellow. He's got to feel important about himself. Hey, Luigi, be careful with that. That's a pixelator screen, an early prototype of my teleportation device. But with my new pixelator, I can bring you back from just about anywhere in this valley. Well, as long as I can locate you, of course. Yep, rather genius if I do say so myself. Once again, we are too fast for Egad finding his inventions before they've been formally introduced to us. Also, that's where the hider was hiding. He rattled the desk right as I was about to walk away. Your impatience was your downfall. Sounds like something that would happen to me! Only just barely got him. Wow, I thought I was really going to screw that up and not get a bonus. Give me the vein. That is one out of five down. Okay. Now, in this room, if we check around a little bit, we can go all the way back here. And there is a door. Yeah, I should have just looked down at the map to see where it was. I thought it was all the way down at the end of the hall. Welcome to the sewer, the most attractive of all locations. You can suck that up, and am I Boolean? True or false? I don't, I don't get it. Boolean, Boolean, uh, bo Boolean, uh, Jim Boolea. I, I really don't understand what it was they were going for, and I probably am going to feel like an idiot here in a moment. So let's just reveal that these bars are free. Ow! Whoa! Poor guy. <laughs> Oh my god! I wasn't intending for that. I was hoping he just hit himself back and forth in here, but I didn't think he'd go in there and just go like, ow, 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 every few seconds. Okay, that was pretty funny. There is a shadow here, but it doesn't really seem like we can do anything with it right now. We also have this, which I guess I might as well take care of that. Get even more money. We are rolling in it. I don't even think I need to come, like, you know, look for money all that much more. We have just so much as it is. Got a coffin, which we open that, nothing. We suck all the candles to snuff out the light. Nothing, no. Well, we check this coffin. Also nothing, yeah. This place is kinda strange. Remember it for another time, cause we can't do anything there yet, and you know it's just sort of the place that would be itching with secrets, itching with secrets, no. Uh, crawling with secrets, itching with secrets, yes, makes a lot of sense. 
Let's uh, let's just go back up into the main lobby. And if you ever need to go back down there, you can just suck off that poster and reveal another one of those balloon thingies. That's all I'm gonna call it because it has an official name. And heck, my name is more creative than what they probably would have come up with. So, hey, our next objective is this way in the tool shed. Fighting our first slammer of the area, actually. I don't think we've fought one up to this point since getting to the Haunted Towers. Get a level three charge, get three gold bars for one ghost. If you guys could both attack me at the same time, that'd be great. Oh, no, oh, 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 that was bad. Uh, I still got one of you. Better than nothing. Oh boy. Come on. Turn around, yes. Got you before you even attacked me. I know that you can attack those before they uh, even swing the shovel at you. I just kind of prefer to do it the other way because it feels safer somehow. So you can do that. I'm just weird. There you are, buddy. And you're not getting away from me a third time in a row. You'll get away from me twice, but not three times. Got you. And I got... Not your speedrunning tactics, but I got your vein. And our third objective that we can see is out this door. So how about we check that out first? Well, you'll get away from me three times, but not your friend. I don't know, I'm just trying to save face right here. Get that, get a heart. That actually came at a very good time, so thank you for that. Aren't there like frogs that have multiple hearts in their bodies? Uh, I don't know, there, there's a lot of animals that have multiple hearts in their bodies. I know that worms have them, I know that octopi have them. I know quite a few do, so uh, maybe I'll just pretend like you do so I can try to talk logical sense into this game that really doesn't because it's about the paranormal. Hey, buddy, we got Two buckets and a uh, gobber, okay. Are you guys gonna look and see where you are? Yes, got you. Not gonna try to get fancy and get huge bonuses, I just wanna take care of you guys so you're not gonna bother me while I'm fighting the big one. All right, it's a big one. See how much our level three charge will do. You're at 86, you go down to 26. That was awesome, so much damage. Ah, uh, speaking of so much. Oh, I didn't actually take damage from that, okay. I swore that did damage though, but maybe not. Hmm, maybe they get a scare scraper or one of the variants of this ghost. Probably one of those! I think I just, yep, three gold bars. Just barely got it. Hey, buddy, you thought I forgot. You thought I didn't see you. Well, you know what? You'd be right. Momentarily, and then I'm gonna bust you. Uh, get over here, get over here. I can't even see your health. Sure, gonna get the vein. And that time I got the speed running tactics, yay. Number three, already got the majority taken care of. Now, uh, okay, bit of a weird thing that I wanna point out around here. There is this hedge that has a boo on it. As you can guess, pretty much anything that's got a boo on it is going to be kinda suspicious or something like that. Can't do anything with that now, but you're gonna wanna remember that it's here for later just cause it's got a boo on it. Pretty much any time that you see something with a boo on it that you can't interact with, remember it, it's important. What are these three? I know I said I probably wasn't gonna worry about cash all that much more, but this is a new place we haven't explored. It's right for the taking. It's easy to say that, but it's not easy to actually walk past collectibles if you're me. Speaking of which, we got a gem, so it was a damn good thing that I didn't walk past them. Ha ha! <laughs> got that emerald. Got that cash, getting just lots of green things all the way around. And got lots of cash from you too. I'd say we made up pretty well, so how about we, uh, actually no. Let's not do that. I wanna go back outside, because there was this peephole that I never looked inside of and I saw the X prompt right as I was going through the door. Hmm. See just how, how tall the Eastern Tower is on the inside? It's kinda neat, because you see the, the uh, bed going through the wall so you can see exactly where it ended up, and this fool's nobody. Oh. 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 Hello. Man, all he did was say hello and you spat in his face. <laughs> you thought I was kidding when I said the ghosts were gonna spit in our faces. No, I was speaking literally. Let's get all this, get all of that, and we can see that the stairs are walking up and down. The future of escalators, perhaps. We can run up with them and get out. Hey, buddy. You gotta step up your game if you wanna take me out. I've beaten you with sunglasses on, I've beaten you with Groucho Marx glasses, I've beaten you with a bucket on your head. You gotta step up your game, man. I've seen it all before. I've just seen the regular old greenies. I don't need any of that. 
Here's the botany lab. Yet another really cool looking room, actually. I just, I like what they did with the haunted tower, just how visually different it looks. That's one of the things I like most about Luigi's Mansion 2 is that you just have these different areas that you go to that have different visual themes. They just, they look different. They feel very different. You have different sorts of creepy imagery that they do with it. It's just, it's all so good. I like that so, so much. Never minding the fact that this makes the game's title complete false advertising because there's more than one mansion and neither of them belong to Luigi, but we won't hold blatant false advertising against the game because I like it. I think I want to put that bucket under there so it'll be under the water. I think I can do it that way at least. I know that there are other, I think there's another way. Try it again. I know the thing I actually have to do to progress. I'm just doing this really quick to see if I can. No, uh, maybe place you a little bit better. I'm probably wasting my time, but I just want to see if I can actually do this, if it will count. Will I get that third one? Thank you. Yes, it does count. Okay, good. It wasn't crazy. So we'll water you over this way. And you'll give me yet another emerald. Yeah. That is now two. And now, use the dark light device, restore this, even though Egad said that it's just an illusion and the objects are still there, it quite clearly isn't that way because that piping did not work otherwise. That'll complete, I guess not a circuit, but it'll complete something or other. And now we embrace our inner Jack. Hey, they listen to me, they stepped up their game. Heck, this guy's got a beaker on his head, something we haven't seen yet. It functions the same way as the sunglasses, but in a short amount of time, I'm impressed that the greenies were able to step up their game quite this much. Come over here, come over here, come over. Give me your hot shades or whatever. I, I, I guess they aren't really hot shades if they're square, but hey, give me. Uh, got all that. There's one of you left that is still lurking around around here. Where are you? We need to find you, we need to find you. Where could you be? Where are you? I know that there's a hider in here because it is one of the rooms marked on the map with our objectives. Was it over here? No? I'm sure plenty of you have spotted it in the background and think I'm an idiot, but <laughs> what else is new? Get that, man! They are really landed on thick with the cash here. Probably gonna get our next upgrade in no time and oh, there it was. Uh no? I saw it back there. Just hoping it doesn't get away before I get back there. There you are! Now to drain your lowly 15 health that really should have been drained in the courtyard! At least I got full charge, getting three gold bars, and there we go. So that is four out of five. Not bad. You know, that's a B on your test. It's pretty typical of how I did, as much as I'm not really proud to admit that, but hey. We can see that that mouse has an emerald. If we try to get close to him, however, he will stop coming out. He only comes out when you're far away. So what you gotta do is, get ready for this. Use a potato cannon to shoot him. And break someone's dishware while you're at it, that too. <laughs> so come on, nope, nope. You gotta lead the fight. <laughs> it looked like I shattered the emerald. <laughs> That was kind of funny. Come on, come on, mouse. Would actually be easier to just move with the circle pad, I think. No, no, come on. Ah, bah. Gimme, 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 gimme. <laughs> this could be going a lot smoother than it is. I know that those things are there to obstruct you. There you are. Throwing a potato at a mouse turns it into money. Yet another valuable life lesson we learned from Luigi's Mansion. That is our third emerald, and I think that's the final one that we can get for right now. Hopefully that makes up for me missing a really easy one in our first visit. I don't know why I'm suddenly talking like this, because it doesn't really make any sense. But we are now up another floor thanks to that beanstalk. And because of that, we can now go higher up into the tool shed stairs than we could before. Get some hearts, back up to full health. Really haven't taken all that much damage. And the very top of the East Tower, except for the roof, of course, because we've already been there, but as high as we can get without going there. Welcome to the conservatory.
that's all fine and good, but I'm just gonna ignore you completely. Can we actually go... Oh, yeah, we can actually go further. I've always wanted to test this out, but I never remembered to do it whenever I've played this mission before. But I realized that with the layout of the mansion the way it is, there really is nothing stopping us from going onward past our final objective. Uh, what's in here? Eating in the bathroom! How uncivilized of you, dead folk! Maybe he has diplomatic immunity because people did that all the time in whatever century he was alive in, but I think I'm just making stuff up at this point. I don't want to spoil too much if we can go, okay, no, all these doors are locked, so we can't go all that much further, but it is still kind of cool that you can see a little bit of what's coming up, and you don't have to stop where the objective is. Not a whole lot there, but back in the conservatory, we can tell this guy exactly what we think of his compositions and music playing abilities by giving him the harshest criticism of his... Not life. And then take out his two colleagues that come out to defend our criticism. Or defend him from our criticism. He takes care of the slammers. But now, we will make sure that his music dies with him. That is the second death. We play this. Play it again. Sam. And get you! Uh, triple charge! Got it anyway! And that is our fifth and final vein for the pinwheel gates! There it is, right on cue! Oh. Hello. Good job, Luigi! That was the last vein from, for the pinwheel gate! I'll bring you back here so we can figure out how to reinstall them. I stole Egad's thunder this time! I said it was the last vein before he did! Even though your eyes told you that before I did, as long as I beat Egad, that is the important thing. Because all we know, he probably doesn't have eyes behind those glasses. It really wouldn't surprise me if you looked at his model and that was the case. 18 minutes, wow, pretty long mission. 20 ghosts captured, 30 health lost, buttload of money, and that's a triple star rank with three gems and a boo. Great run if I do say so myself. Let's go back to the bunker. Good job scaring those ghosts out of their hiding spots, young feller. There's our gems. Got some more... Like, hiders. I momentarily forgot their name. I guess it made a hole in my memory from me making fun of them. The gold greenie distracted me, so we got that. Got a new boo. Got more treasure. Which is enough for an upgrade, just barely! We had 78 more coins than what we needed. So we have reached another level up. Got a level three dark light device now, so we have an even longer meter before it'll deplete. And I stole your thunder once again. We'd be in a real pickle if we lost those pinwheel veins. I'm sure I have something in my toolbox that we can use to put them back in place. I'll tell you, you really have a knack for stirring up trouble, youngster. You haven't even reached the hollow tree and the ghosts are already giving you a hard time. Stay strong, my boy. We'll have that dark moon back in the sky before you know it. We got lots of stuff. Got a boo, got a triple star rank, got an upgrade, got a new type of ghost, got lots of money, got three emeralds. I think we're doing great. So, next time on Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Time to repair that pinwheel lock. Once that's done, you should be able to get inside the hollow tree and look for a passageway to the top. See you guys then. <laughs>